What's up guys? Welcome back to another video here at 88 Rotors Off-Road. I know you're probably here because you want to see the 2022 Tundra, but let's start with a couple others before we show you that one. Here's an Army Green Tundra TRD Pro that we did a Fox and Camberg setup on, body mount chop and 35 inch tires. Next Tundra up is this 1794 edition in a smoked mesquite color. What do you guys think of this color? Pretty cool, huh? King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks with adjusters installed with some camber tubular uniball upper control arms, our body mount chop, some feel off-road wheels and 35, 12 and a half, 18 BF Goodrich all-terrain KL2s. Our shop 88 Rotors is located in the city of South Omani, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, please reach out to us anytime by phone during business hours, or you can always message us 24 seven on our contact form by clicking on the link in the description below. Next up, we have this magnetic gray metallic Tundra that came in with the spacer lift already installed on the vehicle previously elsewhere. We're gonna do a body mount chop on this one and add some new wheels and tires. We're running the 18 by nine, method MR309s, which are known as the grids, and we're wrapping up in this 35, 12 and a half, 18, BF Goodrich All-Terrain KL2 tire. To allow for proper caster adjustments and for full tire clearance while articulating with your wheels turned at full lock, we're performing a body mount chop. This gives you about one and a half inches of extra tire clearance towards the rear end of the front wheel well. We hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you do so, please click on that thumbs up and give us a like. It makes a big difference for this video and the channel itself. And of course, it encourages us to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. Here's the finished body mount chop on the driver's side with a fresh coat of paint. Once that dries and gets a little bit of dirt on there, it will match completely like the rest of the underbody of the vehicle. Next up, we have this 2022 brand new Tundra Limited. Since there aren't really any quality brands that have made a full suspension lift upgrade for these, the best we have now are the Westcott Design Lifts. The Westcott kit gives you three inches of lift in the front and one inch in the rear, doing so by adding a preload collar in the front with a shim on top. The rear gets a coil spring spacer now that the 2022 Tundras have ditched the leaf spring system. And in addition to that, Westcott Designs also supplies the front bump stop extensions and the rear shock extension. Both are really just spacers that are installed. For the wheels and tires on this one, our friends over at RRW provided the 17 by 8.5 with a zero offset RR7 hybrid wheels. These are in the matte black finish that we're installing here with the protection ring. Tire of choice here are the Toyo Open Country Mud Terrains in a 35, 12 and a half, 17. Just an FYI, models with AVS or the Air Ride suspension with the Westcott Designs kit only gets about two inches of lift in the front and about seven eighths of an inch in the back. After the suspension components are reinstalled onto the vehicle, our tech goes over all of his nuts and bolts and marks it with a white paint pen. This lets you know that all nuts and bolts were double checked, torqued down to spec, and then marked. The new 2022 Tundras do not require a body mount chop anymore. Let's go in for a closer look so you see what I'm talking about. They're now designed like this. In order to clear 35 inch tires with the wheel specs used here, all you have to do is cut that felt like material fender liner. Here you can see our tech installing that bump stop extension spacer. And here's one final check of the front end suspension before we put the wheels on. If you guys like what we're showcasing here and are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Turn on that notification bell also, that way you'll get alerted every time we post a new video. 
I get super excited every single time I see a modified 2022 Tundra. I can't wait to get mine. I have the Tundra TRD Pro ordered. I ordered it last year. At the time, they told me it was going to arrive around March or April of 2022. Guess what? It's April 2022. Now they're saying it's about another year out. Looks like the TRD Pros aren't going to be available until 2023. Hopefully something changes and they arrive sooner. These RR7Hs were not mounted as a beadlock, so the customer decided to go with the lip protection ring that we installed as you can see here. What's everybody's take on the new 2022 Tundras? Drop a comment down below and let us know. Did it meet your expectations? Do you like the way they turned out? Do they look better in person or better in pictures? And especially if you own one yourself, comment down below and let us know what you think after owning one. go back a year to the 2021 Lunar Rock TRD Pro that you see here. We did our shim and shackle setup on this one with some new wheels and 35, 12 and a half, 18 tires. Next up, we're bringing in this magnetic gray metallic Tundra. We're gonna do a body mount chop first so we can clear some 35s on here. But of course, in order to do that, we're also doing a three inch lift with a Kings setup. We're doing the Kings 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks with camber tubular uniball upper control arms. The rear is getting a lift with our lift shackles and the Kings 2.5 remote reservoir rear shocks to dampen it out. For the wheels, we're going with the 18x9 feel shock wheels in a plus 25 offset. Tire of choice here are the very popular BF Goodrich All-Terrain KL2 tires. Here's a close-up look of the King's 2.5 remote reservoir rear shocks with adjusters. The new wheels and tires are now going on after the suspension has been completed. We're going to bring the vehicle down and wire up the AMP Research electric side steps that we have installed.
one more step before we can roll this bad boy out. Our tech is underneath installing the lights and wiring up the amp. Research electric side steps. Electric side steps are now done. And that's pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care, guys. And check out this Aventador.